There's so much fatigue, exhaustion going around right now, and I want to explain in this video why that's happening and what you can do to better navigate the challenges that the just amazing, intense, high-frequency light we're receiving can bring forward in you. So it's definitely a challenging time. But when we're in challenging times, know that you are expanding your consciousness, your field is expanding, you are anchoring more of your light. And in order to do that, you need to release the density that tied you or anchored you to a 3D reality. So we're switching. We're going from a low-frequency vibrational being to a high-frequency vibrational being. That opens up all of your multidimensional gifts, your guides, your intuition, your higher self. All of that amazing magic starts to come forward. But in order to get through that doorway or that portal to allow you to start to experience the multidimensional you, you're going to be asked by your higher self to release the density that's been anchoring you to the lower frequency timelines. You know, that's the, the energy, the density that's been coming up to be seen, to be felt. You know, the anxiety, right? The, the anxiety, the stress, the fear, the fear of the unknown, the unsure about what the future looks like, right? The mind is trying to expect certain things based on what it knows or has experienced in the past, and that keeps you to a lower frequency timeline. Now, the interesting thing is your ego will do that intentionally because it fears the expansiveness of the truth of who you are, that multidimensional being. That is an unknown to the ego, so it will continue to bring forward these dense emotions and anxiety to keep you small. And it's not trying to do a disservice to you intentionally, but what's happening is it wants to keep you in a bubble or a world or a reality that it feels that it has some sort of control over. Now, as we lean into these energies that are coming in, this amazing high-frequency light, and you're being expanded, all of that stuff's going to come up because your programming is going to say, hey, I don't like this. Let's go back to what we know. And in that moment, you have a powerful choice to make. Do you continue to follow the lead of your ego, which is being directed by all of that programming and all those traumas and things, or do you anchor it into the body to help move this high-frequency light through you so that you can start to lean into that unknown and experience the new? That means letting go of the predictable and allowing the unpredictable I know things in the world right now look really, really wonky and our mind wants to try to predict how things are going to happen. And what I've learned from my guides and through experience is that when you try to predict how things are going to go or unfold in the future, you're limiting yourself to a predictable timeline. So that's where trust comes in, where you could sit back, you could trust your journey, you could trust your guides, your intuition, your higher self. And sit back and allow yourself to observe the unfolding of this amazing ascension timeline. Again, all of this light is bringing in information, bringing in potential, bringing in timelines that are such high frequency that they really, in some strange way, don't look anything like the expected timelines that your ego is looking forward to or trying to keep you in, right? So you have to be able to trust and let go. These are timelines with infinite pers um, possibilities, with contact with multidimensional beings, with more contact with your guides, more intuitive knowing, being able to see and perceive energy, being able to read the room when you walk into it, being able to know intuitively how to hold space for others who are going through that dark night of the soul or that suffering, who are anchored to lower frequency timelines. You'll know how to intuitively hold space for them to allow to release some of their dense energy. We call that healing or energy healing. So all of these things are, are going to be opening up to you. But first, you need to be able to do it within yourself. As we receive this light and our field expands, what we want to do is bring it back to the body, get present in the body, allow yourself to feel all of that dense energy, allow yourself to experience or see the anxiety, see the fear, see the, limit, the limited programming that's been keeping you small. Right? We're going through this expansion, and again, your, your ego doesn't want you 
to lean into that because it's unpredictable and it's unknown. Again, it's unintentional. You need to hold compassion for your ego. When you start to feel that constrictedness and that smallness, know that it's rising up to be seen. It's saying, hey, this is how we control the situation. We do things this way. That is old programming that no longer serves you. Have compassion for that aspect of you. It is a conscious aspect of you. It is an energetic aspect of you that is doing the best it can. It's that scared inner child. Allow the inner child to release the fear and get back into that creativity. Get back into the unknown. Get, that, get back into that flying by the seat of the pants, into the flow kind of feeling because that's where that inner child truly is happy and it can embrace life to the fullest instead of running from every possible scenario that could come up. So again, the light, the energy is bringing all of this forward. We are being asked to dive inward, get present and feel all of this. Allow this energy to move through you so you can finally alchemize it. When you do that, you're reclaiming all of it. You're adding it back into your system, your central channel, and you are becoming more whole. And a more whole version of you is multidimensional. Okay? It's the healer. It's the creator, right? It's, it's just everything that you've been searching for. It is available to you if you just know where to look. So feel it, bring it into the body, have compassion, have love, feel that energy start to move through you, and you will see that aspects of new earth will start to move through you and manifest. You will feel it. You'll feel more present. You're going to feel more calm. You're going to feel more love, compassion. You're going to start to see abundance in your reality. You're going to start to, to just see gratitude. You're not going to have judgment for others and these aspects of you, these wounded aspects that are rising up at this time. So we need to see and experience and feel these aspects. They were unconscious. Now we're making them conscious. We're giving them a voice. They just want to be seen and bring them back into the heart. Breathe them back into the body. Show them what love and compassion truly is. And those old aspects or programmed versions of you will start to release their grip on these predictable, old, not, no longer serving, disempowering timelines. And you'll start to step into one where you are empowered, you are the creator, you are the driver of your destiny.